everybody say Floyd, he's sneaky, he do certain things, he hit you when you ain't supposed to really be hit. But at the end of the day, like what edge do you use when you in the ring to saying like rules to fighting? Like, you feel what I'm saying? What's your edge in the ring? Um, me personally, my edge in the ring is just my, uh, like you don't want to get even hit with one of those sneaky shots. Right. Like one of those sneaky shots could be a problem to you. So, um, but Floyd, he, he, you know, I gotta be careful what I say because Floyd is a goat and he's a legend and I got a lot of respect for him. But like, I think I could take any one of those sneaky shots. I don't care what type of sneaky shot he throw at me. It, was, it, would, it wouldn't affect me at all. A lot of the guys he fought, they was affected by those little nit nitty pick and pat shots. But um, still to this very day, I think that I, I had the, in boxing, I had the best chance against him. So you see where I'm going though with this, right? Because I, cause I, I, I want to know, like, if you was to get in the ring with him, what you feel like? I know yeah. you're going to take yourself, but, like. But can you even make the, that? I'm just, like, Floyd done. He, I'm not. I'm just saying, though. He's yeah. still boxing, Say, though. But you got you to gotta tee it up in the, like, Floyd in his prime, you in his prime. And you know what happened? Floyd in his prime. Ain't going to tell you a crazy story. Think, uh, nothing against I'm just curious. I want to hear what my boy I feel like I fought a fight Floyd. We ain't going to run from no situation. I could have knocked it. Floyd out, but it would have been considered to the boxing world a lucky shot. So I would have never got the gratitude anyways. Me and Floyd hanging out in Vegas. He's destined for what he is. Me and Floyd hanging out in Vegas, right? And um. We in Vegas, we hanging out with uh, Aunt Rose and, you know, Rick Floyd, you know what I'm saying? Right. OG. So, like, so me and OG hanging out, he like, hey, bro, um, which one of y'all want to fight me? <laughs> I was like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so I just like Floyd. You know? I, was just, I was just like, I kind of locked up. I, I kind of locked up. Oh, we was like, man, it was crazy, crazy, crazy. I was like, nah, bro, like, <laughs> I heard in your weight division no right. more. Like I was 60 Floyd. Like right. that was that was bro. Yeah. He been he always wanted to fight Floyd. Right. But that's why he undisputed. But that's Floyd, why, yeah. but, that, but that's why like, I love that passion though. Cause I, I that's I sense why who's that, undisputed? Him. Because like one thing about him is like he always like challenges himself to like, to like I, want Floyd. Oh like I want Floyd. Like I want Floyd. That's know, what like, I was saying. That's why I we, seen him at that's his why point. we steady be like, you know, where the Canelos, where the GGGs, where, where the big guys at? We the big guys. Like we <laughs> are the big guys. So how did y'all miss each other then? Like everybody you name, how you, you know miss what? Well, I think you had the belt, and Floyd had a belt at the same time. That's what I was going right? with, can, though, because he expressed that. Can I, can I Go ahead, it get it off, because that's what I really wanted to Can know, I really bro. break it down for him? Please. Go ahead, break it down. Please. All right. So at, at that time and era, 2018, just to give you really graphical points, um, I was Floyd was the, the champion. Right. Canelo was number one. Miguel Cotto was number two. And then it was, uh, I think, I, I don't really remember who was number three. I think I know. I'm sorry. I was number three, right. and then number four, and then all, uh, and so long. Mm -hmm. But so Canelo was doing his thing, trying to make it. It might have been 20, 2018 had 2019. Yeah. So I was trying my best to get to the champion. Right. Like I didn't know nothing else, yeah. you know. And um and and of course, fighting Floyd Mayweather will put you on the map. Mm -hmm. Fighting Floyd Mayweather put you a a payday with. From that day, still pay you for right now. Right. You know, like it was, it was essence for yeah. me to get to the best of in the division. So I, I, I stayed at 154. Um, I never, I went up from 147 to 154. That's mm -hmm. the only two weight divisions That's I ever right fought at. Right. And so I always just wanted to fight the champion, the best, the best guy. You know, like I wanted to fight the best See, guy. That's why I division. respected about him though, because I always could tell, I could sense. You know, when you in your zone, he like me. I want to go for the top of the top. And that's why I always respect him because he never bowed down to nothing. He he always wanted the top right, shot. So right, that's right. why I was curious on like what's yeah. that mental? Because obviously Floyd, he's the goat in our eyes. Like yeah, and we then, argue about it all the time. I, re I remember uh, <coughs> Floyd fighting Miguel Cotto. I remember Floyd fighting Cotto. I mean uh, Cotto and fighting Canelo. Exactly. And and I'm just still sitting at number three in the WBC, and I was just sitting there. You know, almost like Pacquiao, Pacquiao. Pacquiao. I, I, I couldn't almost, move up. No, Pacquiao was a weight. He, he was, was really like one forty. Originally, he was, he was like but, but what but what happened was Floyd went and fought Canelo, and took his belt. Mm -hmm. And Floyd became a champion and just milked the clock for a long time. Oh, and he, and he stayed at one fifty four as a the the primary super champion. And then it was Canelo coming up in because that Canelo started. He was young when he seen when when they went when they seen each other Canelo and Floyd. 
well, Canelo was young at that time. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. About yeah, 21, yeah. 20. So, but Canelo and Floyd kept, you know, and then after a while, they just kept fighting each other, and all of the guys kept fighting each other. And, you know, we, we buzzing De La Hoya phone up, and Canelo was supposed to fight in Texas at the... Uh, at the uh, the Astro Stadium, at the it was called the Mini Maid Park. I think it's mm -hmm. still called that. But he fought he fought James Kirkland. You know, uh, James Kirkland didn't do anything in that fight. He didn't present himself for a <laughs> Texas native. Yeah. And I and I felt like I, that was my destiny. That was my chance that I should have took on when they should have fought me at the time. So now I'm 154. Now when Floyd Floyd retired. You know, he fought Andre Berto. That was his retirement fight. Mm -hmm. And I, we was there. We was ringside. 